Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Val, I am an independent Scentsy consultant. And first of all, I'm so sorry it's taking me so long to upload any videos. As for most of you, summer is just a super busy time. It is for me and my family as well. But we are back now, kids are back in school, and I am super excited for fall and all the fall smells. This order is just a small haul. I did some clearance orders um, on September 1st and some of my favorite bars that I hope to warm this fall and also some of the new bars. I didn't order the whole set of new bars, um, just a couple that I thought were interesting. So I'm going to open that up here. I didn't place a huge order because I am getting my club this month. So a lot of the bars I'm getting are in there too. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited already. Cedar Cider. Um, yes, I am out of this and this is such a good smell. I live in a timber frame house. <laughs> so it always kind of has a bit of a wood smell to it. But when I put Cedar Cider in, it just complements my home so well. This definitely has like a cedar base, kind of like when you open up a chest, like a cedar chest. Just that cedar wood smell. Not tree, just like cedar wood. And then some beautiful cider, almost like citrus with the cider spices, but not overly strong. This one is just a fantastic fall bar and I am so excited to warm that. Alpine Escape, this one is new. I think this one had mint as well as tree. So I did get the testers of all the smells, but often they're not very accurate. Yeah, this definitely has a pine smell. Wait a Let me check the um, scent description here. Minty air among spruce and evergreen trees on a scenic mountain getaway. It's nice and refreshing. It definitely has a cool tone to it. And I think it's milder than a lot of the tree scents. I know I had a different pine tree scent already going this fall and my husband didn't like it. It was too strong for him. So <laughs> I'm gonna try this one. I think the mix of the mint in there, um, yeah, we'll, we'll calm things down, cool things down a little bit. It's nice, it's good. We'll see how it goes when it melts. Okay, Midnight Mahogany. Um, this, was in, this was one from last year's new releases and I never ordered it. And I'm glad it came back because, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Oh, definitely has a wood, like a woods base tone, but a sweet. Black plum, there you go, that's the sweet note to it. And cinnamon leaf, brighten up dark mahogany on a secluded moonlight stroll. Yeah, it's not, there's no cinnamon spice smell in here, but the leaf I could see, it's a bit, it's not a green smell either. Honestly, it's just like a soft, sweet, woodsy smell. I can't personally pick out like plum or cinnamon, but you just get like a really well blended, calmer, woodsy, fall smell. So it's not like heavy spice. It's not heavy musk or anything like that. It's just soft and pretty. Silver Bells. This one obviously is more Christmassy. And this one I only ordered just because I've been seeing reviews. Oh, why isn't it? There we go. Um, and people just rave about this one. Um, it's been in the catalog for absolutely years and in the tester it just never seems to wow me. I always smell it and I'm like, ah, oh, it's okay. 
but um, never ordered it. Minty candy canes dance over warm and welcoming pear, all enveloped in a velvety blanket of caramel and vanilla sugar. So that sounds lovely. And I'm just hoping that the wax bar will be a bit more revealing than the small scent samples. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, but I still find it kind of meh. There's definitely vanilla. It's a stronger vanilla in the bar than in the tester. Minty vanilla, it kind of smells like a candy cane smell. Yep. <laughs> warm and welcoming pear. So probably on warm, the, sweet, the sweetness of the pear would come out. And also like the vanilla base would come out a lot stronger. Vanilla is always better when it warms. Yeah, it's pretty. And it will be a nice, not overwhelming smell for the winter. So often a lot of this fall smells can be really spicy and really heavy. So those light ones will be good. <laughs> so speaking of candy canes, candy cane buttercream. This one I got specifically to melt in the basement for whenever the kids are kind of playing down in the basement. It's just a fun, light smell. Candy cane buttercream just was new last year was there a buttercream collection it was new last year i don't know if it was part of a collection or the holiday collection no that was cranberry candy cane this was part of the buttercream collection Woo! yeah it's definitely got a strong buttercream it smells like vanilla bean buttercream on the bottom like purely and then just a light a light peppermint this one's really really fun really light not light as in um, not good with their scent performance, but just a light as in not overly heavy. Yeah, I think the kids will like this one. It'll be a fun wintry smell and even fall, why not? Around the campfire. <laughs> um, so another one I had ordered years ago and my husband hated it because it definitely does have a smoke smell to it. Um, so make some memories in the mountain air as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers help the scene. So what I'm hoping to do with this one is mix it with some of my pine tree scents because there are a lot of tree scents this year. And I'm thinking this one is just gonna make them more like winter campfire, like nice fireplace outdoor fires any kind like I think this is just going to add a depth to the tree ones that makes it less heavy and um, almost like acidic how the trees can be really spicy and strong the smoky embers what were the other notes mountain air yeah yeah it definitely has this like to me this smells like um It smells like when we were kids and we'd have to collect firewood. So my dad would have the chainsaw out and just like cutting through wood and we'd be hauling it. And then we'd put it in the wood stove later that night and have a fire. It just smells like cold winter days with like cozy wood stove fire afterwards. So that's very, that's my, my description of it. <laughs> so yeah, I won't melt this on its own, but I am gonna try mixing it with a few of the tree scents or the outdoorsy outside air smells and see how that goes. And if my husband hates it, then I will melt it here in my office. Next is gingerbread pecan waffles. This one is new this year. Savor all day breakfast with warm and flush, fluffy gingerbread waffles topped with molasses and roasted pecan. This one, again, I got for my kids. Uh, my son in particular, my oldest, likes the bakery smells. He's been waiting for the brownie smell forever. Brownie batter, that's what it's called, yeah. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I liked the sample of this one better. The actual bar on the bottom smells really buttery to me, like popcorn-y butter. I can get nuts, like roasted pecans. But if I was to just smell this, I wouldn't think waffles. Or gingerbread. 
I could smell like the um, the rich molasses roasted pecans. It smells like um, like sweet roasted nuts with butter. <laughs> Interesting. So we'll see how that is when it warms, but regardless, it'll be a cozy, nice smell for the basement for the kids, maybe in the kitchen too, but okay. Cranberry and cardamom. This one was new last year as well. And it was just a really pleasant smell for fall and winter. Why isn't it coming up? Gold cherry and white cranberry mingle in a festive celebration with a hint of warm cardamom. Yeah, the cherry in this one is beautiful. And the cranberry. It's like a really nice mix. You get the like really tart, sour cranberry with like the sweet, heavy cherry behind it. There's a hint of spice. It is, it's a warm, warm cardamom. That's a good description. This one's just very pleasant. It's a little bit of a licorice smell. Um, but I think on warm, that's probably why the cardamom's there is to like give it a bit more sophistication. Um, and then, yeah, I think it, I think it does have that. Jam and Jubilee. I got this cause it's going away soon. I wasn't sure if I wanted to throw it in my club. I think I did end up doing that. Red berry compote, blackberry zest are ready to party with the irresistible addition of sugared syrup. Yeah, this one, um, we had gotten so many berry smells over the summer and spring, but I think Jam and Jubilee was my favorite. It's a strong performer. It's sweet. Ah, this one doesn't smell as strong as my others. It could be, oh yeah, the bottom's really sweet. Yeah, it almost smells like a bit more of a candied, um, candied berry right now. I remember it being a lot more of a jammy, sugary, like stewed, stewed fruit smell. It's still delicious. The blackberry is definitely there. Um, so this one I think could easily be like a seasonal smell too, especially if you mix it with a bit more of like a, a spice, you can definitely have a good smell going on for any season. I think I will keep that in my club for a little while. Collect a few of them and see how it melts. Vanilla Amber is what I have next. I'm excited to smell this one. I've only smelt it in the tester. Rich vanilla cream and golden amber infused with sweet rum are a piece of pastry perfection. Yeah, I really like this because it definitely has the vibes of vanilla bean buttercream, but if you're not a crazy bakery person, which I'm not, um, this one smells way more sophisticated in my opinion. It's got the same like vanilla warmth and sweetness, but then it just has that amber undertone, which gives it a bit more of a perfumey smell than the buttercream, which is like a heavy, obvious like bakery or sweetness. This one I think could mix so well with other scents, but also just really pleasing on its own. Yeah, I like this a lot. Vanilla Amber. Arctic Kiss. This is a classic. This was one of the first scents I ever ordered from Scentsy, except I believe it was called Eskimo Kiss. Or was that Polar Bear Hug? This might have always been, oh, this one's so good. Mmm. This one I got for the kid's bedroom. Probably my bedroom too, and probably the basement. This is so nice. Cool Arctic mint and fresh air embrace the warmth of fluffy vanilla clouds. This one to me is so cozy. Cozy, sweet, and fresh. It's almost like the winter version of like a jammy time with summer. I know fluffy fleece is also an example of that, but people sometimes say fluffy fleece is like that old lady-ish kind of old lady perfume version. This is like kids cozy, 
cozy winter wear. Like if I washed all of their bedding, if there was like an Arctic Kiss laundry, I don't think there is, there's not. But I'll put it in their bedroom. See how they like it. This is really sweet, I like this smell. And it totally reminds me of my first apartment I ever had with my husband. Cause this was one of the smells that I had at that time. That and Snowberry, which is also back, totally bring me back to my early years. Okay, and then first day of fall. This is the last bar I've ordered for this order. Um, this one I hope to mount right away. I wanted to, it to be the first bar I melted when I came home from our summer work, but it wasn't here in time, so I've melted a bunch of tree smells, but all the best parts are here. Just picked pumpkin, a breath of autumn woods, ground nutmeg, and a spicy dash of cinnamon. Yeah, this is definitely spice forward, in my opinion. It's got the cinnamon, the nutmeg. The Breath of Autumn Woods, it kind of has that, um, the leafy smell that you can find in Um, what am I thinking? Golden Garland. Oh, that has like a tree element to it. This doesn't. What do I think of Falling Leaves? That was a Bring Back My Bar from last year. It's a bit of that like damp leaf smell, but also the pumpkin. Yeah, it just smells like the cool, fresh fall. I just melted, was it fall feeling? from last year. I just, just melted one um, very similar to this in my home. It's not available anymore. But anyway, first day of fall, I will be melting that right away just because it's fun, fresh, and lovely. And that is it for the bars that I got on September 1st. I will also mention the Gordy Goodness Collection, which I had ordered two bags of and I didn't do any videos because I was too busy at the time, but the Gordy Goodness Collection is fantastic. I loved all the bars in it. Some have gone into my club, specifically Hollow Harvest. Is that what it's called? Hollow Harvest. Pumpkin Roll is fantastic. Pumpkin Sticky Bun is that one. They were all so good and just really, really nice and cozy and welcoming in the home. Okay, from the clearance selection, I got the Jammy Time body wash. I love all things Jammy Time. And this is like the older style of bottles. But I picked one up just because it was in clearance and I'll enjoy that. And then lastly, this warmer was discontinued last year and I've kind of kept my eye on it because I've heard so many people love this one and I kind of knew it would pop up again. I was hoping it would be on clearance and it was, and I finally did order it. It's called Pearlescent Petals and I probably won't have it out this fall, but for like maybe a spring, a springtime warmer, but also just a beautiful gift. I love to keep warmers on hand for gifts for any occasion. Yeah, so it's a nice size for sure. Not too small, it's quite large. It's so pretty. So without it being plugged in, it's a very just iridescent, really, really pretty. Even unlit as most of the warmers are. But let's light it up, shall we? All right, so here we go. It's a really, really pretty design, really pretty pattern. And let's see how it looks. Yeah, it doesn't cast too much of a pattern on the table at all, but it's really pretty warmer. So that is the pearlescent petals again. 
really beautiful warmer. And because it's ceramic, it's going to have a great throw, great performance. I can almost guarantee it. Anyway, you guys, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you have some great fall smells that you're going through this season. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. It's good to be back. And I'll have my club video coming soon. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.